Hi, I'm Marcy McGoldrick, the Editorial Director for Crafts at Martha Stewart Living. Today we're making a marble and brass tabletop. This is an easy table to make. It uses a tile from a home improvement store, so it's inexpensive and very simple. For this project, you will need an 18 by 18 inch piece of half inch plywood, an 18 by 18 inch marble tile, four hairpin legs, a drill, an eighth inch drill bit, a Phillips head driver bit, four brass strips, a ruler, washers, number 10 screws, construction adhesive, putty knife, a box cutter, sharpie marker, painter's tape, sandpaper, and a cutting mat. To make the tabletop, you're going to apply a thin coating of adhesive to the plywood. You need a generous coating so that it will adhere to the tile, and don't worry too much about extra because you can smooth it off of the edges later. Take your putty knife and flatten out the adhesive, creating a smooth coating on top of the plywood. Place the tile on top of the plywood. You're going to align it so that the edges meet up. Don't worry if a little bit of glue eases out the edges. Now you'll set some books on top of this to weight it down and let it dry overnight. The tabletop has dried overnight, so lightly sand the edges to remove any excess glue and to smooth the edges so that when we apply the brass strips, they'll fit nicely together. And once they're smooth, apply the table legs about a half inch from the edge of the plywood. And we're going to pre-drill a hole, so you'll need to mark where the screws are going to go in. With a half inch drill bit, you drill directly down. And you're only going to go slightly in because you don't want to go into the tile. So just lightly drill each of the holes. Now that we've drilled the holes, we have to change the bit so that we can screw the table legs in. You also need a little washer on the end of each of the holes. And then number 10 screws. We finished one leg, and now we're going to attach the remaining three. Now that we've attached the legs, we flipped the table over, and now we're ready for the final step, attaching the brass strips to the tabletop. You'll need four strips in total. Measure out 18 inches, and then 18 and an eighth of an inch. So you'll use your box cutter, and you'll need to lightly score the brass strips. Once you have a pretty deep score, you can break it and see how it does. Now we've cut all our strips, we're going to apply them to the edge of the table. Start with a thin bead of construction adhesive. Again, a generous amount so that you can ensure that it will adhere. And make sure you get it all the way to the edges because you want to make sure that the edges are especially covered. You'll need to apply the brass strips with painter's tape. We take the strip and line it up with the edge. The 18 inch pieces will fit flush with the tile and the 18 and a quarter inch pieces will have a little bit of an overhang so you'll have complete coverage on the edge of the table. And then you use the painter's tape and it'll wiggle for a little bit but you want to make sure it's completely flush and tight. And as you go down, keep checking to make sure that the brass isn't sliding down. That's the first side and we're going to repeat with the other three. Now we've attached all the edges and the finishing touches to the tabletop. It just needs to dry overnight. Well, our table's all finished, and I think it will look great in a living room or in a bedroom as a side table, and it was quick and inexpensive to make.